This is a video for how to go about checking for interference and analyzing the amount of interference in Fusion 360. You will notice that I have an object here that looks like a canister, and in this case, it is a cupcake holder. And I kind of have this, you know, little hinge on it, has kind of this swinging gate. And what I want to know is that when I have this open, is there any interference at all? Like, do any of these parts go, you know, into each other? Because that's one of the things we want to make sure of when we design any parts that kind of go together. You know, is there any interference? Do these things, you know, overlap at all? So to be able to check that, I can go up to the inspect toolbar and I can come down and go to interference. And it's going to say, do I want to capture position? And I just want to say, keep the position that I'm in. And it's going to ask me, you know, what do you want to check the interference between? And I'm going to say, you know, this you know, red half of this swinging gate and the other half of the swinging gate. And once I have that, I'm going to say compute. And it's going to come up and say no interference detected in this case. And what that means is, is that, you know, none of these things just kind of, you know, go like inside of each other. There's no, nothing's going to bump up or hit anything when I do that. Now, I know from uh, looking at this, this particular object before that I do have some places that have interference. So I'm going to try to like close this, you know, all, not all the way, because I know when I close it all the way, it, it perfectly fits. But, you know, when it opens up, does it like opening up a door? When the door opens up on a hinge, you know, is it going inside the hinge at all? Does it perfectly clear that hinge? I want to check that, and I'm going to go to interference here. I'm going to capture my position. I'm going to choose the same two things, and I'm going to go to compute. And it's going to come up and say, you know, you have 53.28 cubic millimeters of interference, and that means that's the volume of material that is overlapping. And I can say, well, you know, obviously I don't want any... I don't want any, you know, interference. So I kind of need to take a look around my object and find out where it's interfering. And I can look here and I can see, you know, there's an overlap right down in this area here. I can see where this object is now kind of turning into here. So that can make me go back and, you know, drive my design to, you know, I need to go in and, you know, curl off some of this object or maybe kind of cut around here and make this more, you know, uh, spherical or, excuse me, not spherical, but more uh, cylindrical. I need to like, you know, draw a three point arc and cut. And that'll tell me how much interference I have, because the goal always is when I open up something or close it, I don't want anything to run into each other. So, you know, for this right here, I'll go to inspect, I'll go down to interference, and I'll say, you know, between these two things, once it's closed, do I have any interference? It says no, that's good. Um, again, this is a cupcake holder that uh, we're designing for our engineering class, and I can say, you know, this cupcake's just resting inside the object, correct? So I can just say, you know, between here and here. Is there any interference at all? I see no interference and that's good. So as I close this gate, I was able to go in with that interference tool and find out if there was anything that ran into each other. So this is good for when I go into 3D printing. I don't want to spend the time and effort to 3D print something where it's going to you know, run into each other and not work. So this is an excellent tool with Infusion 360 to find out if the parts that you, you know, are joining together will actually fit with no interference and also giving you an idea of how much volume of material you need to remove. So this has been a video on how to go about utilizing the checking for interference tool in Fusion 360.